Hello and welcome back to another video. This is going to be episode 11 of Building Feed. This week I'm going to continue working on the building that I've been working on. However, this time I'm going to start on a new building just to kind of break up the monotony of building the same thing over and over again and because I'm starting to run out of parts. So without further delay, let's get right into it. So picking up right where we left off last week, this window design I went ahead and changed over to the arch and I'll bring over the focus point so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. But I left the internals the same. This one way over here is three plates and then one plate at the top of window. This one is the three plates at the bottom and then it's still the two plates at the top. And I like this better. The reason being is I wanted this to be kind of a taller, larger window because this whole section here of wall is going to go up pretty high. So I wanted it to kind of fill out more of the wall. And then this one, obviously I want it to be pretty small because it's on such a small section of wall. And the other thing that I did is I went ahead and changed the dark tan spot right here. Before it was just a brick with some one by one plates on either side of it. And I didn't really like the way it looked. So I flipped it sideways and gave it a little bit more depth and detail. Now it kind of fits better into this big rectangular section of nothingness. And then the piping hasn't changed or anything like that. But the main section on the other side that I'll take you to now, that changed a lot and I'll show you why. So as you can see, I added in this section of brick right here because the way that I had it built, this was going right into this wall here. But if you kind of draw a line from here all the way over to the other side, it was actually a stud off. So that I had to change, which caused a couple problems trying to figure out how to get this connected. And the other thing I did was I added another row of these tiles to the roof because I had to bring it up to be this height right here. The only other thing is because of how wide the door is, it's not going to be a full circle. It's going to be kind of a lopsided circle or like an oval. So I'm going to see how that looks. Hopefully it looks all right. But as of right now, I'm still really liking this design, just giving me a lot of headache. But I am running out of parts, as I said last week. So I might just build up this one section here a little bit higher so that I can kind of figure out this curve. And then kind of once I have that stuff going on and figured out, then I'll kind of take a break from this building here and work on the other parts of the mock. All right, so after a couple more hours, I figured out the round part on top of this roof. So I'm really, really happy with this. It was definitely a challenge to figure it out, but I think that now kind of figuring everything out is over. So I should basically just have to replicate and extend up these things to a height that I'm happy with. What I'm planning on doing is having another window kind of similar to this one down here, right up here, because I think that will fill out this wall and make it look a little bit better. And then I went ahead and added in some plants here that I'll show you guys in a second. And that was very necessary because of originally how I had this. It was just a weird kind of flat plateau right here where this curve starts and it just stood out really, really bad. And I also went ahead and added in underneath some sand green so it looks like the roof is going all the way up to the next section of the wall instead of it being kind of weirdly stopping right here which is what it was originally so i'll go ahead and kind of spin this around so you guys can get a look at that all right so now we're looking at the side the back side that's going to be facing kind of the front of the mock and basically what we've got going on is i finished trying to figure out this curve and i added in the greenery and beforehand as I mentioned it was really really weird looking and I didn't like it at all so I went ahead and added in this little section here of greenery and I think it's actually a really good idea because I have you know so many vines over on this side so it makes more sense to have some growing up here and then for right here I want to add in a nice balcony and then a like glass door or whatever behind there so it's a little bit different from the window and also there are a bunch of balconies on feed so I think that's a good idea, but that is basically the progress on the house so far. I think I'm going to leave it right here for now and I might start working on this house right here because this one looks so cool and so nice. But every time I go to take a picture or, you know, film, this one is just such a weird looking eyesore. So I think I'll start tackling this one next and let's get right to the time lapse.
So I did a live stream where I got a lot more progress done after the time lapse and then even after that I did some more on the building. So what you're looking at is this building so far and this was a challenge because I had to try to make this still interesting and entertaining to look at while being a very boring shape. This is literally just a box or a square. So basically what I've done is I did the same kind of window as this one over here. And I'll probably go ahead and change one of the two of these flower things so they're just not the exact same color. But I did that and then I'm out of these little rail plates that I'm using for the dividers of the windows. And so I'll make an order for that stuff as well as a couple other things that I'm starting to run low on. And then I added in some dark tan over here on the corner and then a big spot right here. This I did on the live stream and the reason I did it is because up until this point all of the dark tan that we have on the buildings all over the place are like really small little sections. So I wanted to go ahead and make a big one and I think that it works pretty well. My only problem with it is the fact that it's right next to this balcony section with the door. So you have pretty bland bottom section, really bland middle section, and then really, really packed with detail section right here. So I'm thinking of trying to put this actually maybe down here now that I look at it. And the next thing obviously is the balcony and the door. But as for the middle section here, I didn't put a building because it's, you know, in a little alley. So you'd just be looking at the side of somebody else's house. So there's no building here. I'll probably end up doing, you know, crates and stuff in that section here. And then on the live stream, I posed the question of whether or not I should put a bridge kind of connecting these two. So I think I'm going to do that. People seem to like that idea. So I'm going to explore that. You see that kind of a lot in the Phantom Menace of buildings kind of just being connected with walkways and bridges and stuff like that. So that is going to go somewhere up here, but it's going to start a little bit higher up. So I didn't get to that yet. That is basically what you can see from here. So I'll go ahead and move the camera and give you guys a closer up look at the different parts. All right. So the first thing is the balcony because I wanted to have something to bring it off the side and have it not be just you know a straight flat building so I added in a balcony but I didn't want it to be so big that it would take away from the rest of what you're looking at I wanted it to kind of stand out but also blend in to the rest of the building and I already kind of covered this dark tan section so I won't go too crazy with the detail the one thing to mention is the fact that it had to be connected into the door section because I had this cheese slope so I needed to have an inverted one to meet it and I'm not really super happy with the gap, so hopefully if I move this down, I'll be able to get rid of that gap and make it look better. But as of right now, this is the way that it stands, and I'll go ahead and kind of pull off some of the railings so you can see the door. This gave me so many issues, but I'm actually really happy with it. As of right now, I'm using just bricks, but they're gonna be swapped out for the plates. Later on, I just am out of the plates. So now we can talk about the door. This gave me a lot of issues, but it was also really fun to design. I decided not to make it inset because it makes more sense for a door when it swings out. You don't obviously want it to hit into the side of the house. So it's flush with the wall. And I also decided that I wanted the glass panes to be on the same level as the gray because realistically, this would be a pretty thin door. So there wouldn't be a whole ton of definition. And it also made it a lot easier. So what I have here is a frame going around in the dark gray color same as the windows and then I have some snot building of the glass panes in the door and then this was a really interesting and fun thing to include these are actually the ice skate pieces connected into some clear headlight bricks so those came in clutch a couple different times in this design and the other thing is I wanted it to be divided down the middle as you can see here 
So I have one by two tiles at the very bottom, and then obviously the snot sections have the seam right in the middle, but the middle part right here, this cross beam, this was a really big pain to try and figure out how to connect. And I was thinking of just being able to put a two by four tile and then I wouldn't even have to worry about it, but I wanted that division in the middle. So I had to use two by tiles and I couldn't connect anything obviously using one by twos. So I decided to use the two by two tiles and I'll go ahead and pull this section off here and this right here. And as you can see, it is all connected with some snot bricks and another one of those clear headlight bricks. These came in so clutch for this design, it really, really helped me out. And then for the top, it's just connected with some snot bricks. And then because it's a one by two tile, you can slide it. So that worked out really nicely there. So then I can go ahead and just connect this. This side was a little bit different because of the cheese slope that I had to integrate. So it's pretty much the same principle. Everything is connected in the same way. So we can go ahead and connect these and because they're, you know, they slide in together, you kind of have to put them together first before you connect it to the rest of the building. And then this top is just snot. And the reason that this works is because I was able to use just regular bricks instead of having to use the headlight bricks, which would then create a seam right here in the middle. So that is the really nice thing. I actually had so many lucky connections when I went through and made this, but I'm really happy with the design. It looks like a door. I tried to distinguish it from the window. It is pretty similar, but obviously having these handles and also having it, you know, be all in the same layer and flush with the wall makes it stand out from a window so you can kind of tell. And then obviously the fact that there's a balcony out here. All right, so now you can see the front of it. And I went for a very simple medium nougat door using the same kind of technique with the arch piece. Although this one was way easier because I wasn't mixing two different kinds of snot building. It was all just a bunch of tiles and I could connect them all to the same thing behind there. And the other thing that I'm really happy with is this little balcony and step section. This is something that you see a lot, especially in Battlefront 2, with a bunch of little kind of steps going up with the railing. The railing I want to continue throughout the city part, not just on the outside border. And then over here, not gonna spend a whole ton of time on this, but the reason there are those little snot bricks is because I want to have some poles kind of coming out with an awning and then there's going to be like a little market area over on this side. So that's why that is there. And then I guess if I pull up here, you can get a look at the back side of the whole balcony section. That is kind of what goes into making some of the things that I have going on in these buildings. I hope you guys like it. It's pretty challenging to make such a boring shape look interesting. So I'm hoping that having the little awning section sticking out will kind of break up the just straight up box look. And then I'm not sure what I want to do for the roof. Originally, I was thinking of using this because this is such a good looking dome. This would kind of make the rest of it look good. So I'm going to see how it looks, but I think it might look odd having just a, you know, rectangular building and then a nice little rounded roof right on top of it. So this might not end up working and I might go for one of those dark orange roofs on this building with the sloped kind of shape and see how that goes. But that is all the progress that I got done this week. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode 11 of Building Feed. I got a bunch of progress done, although I was held back a little bit by the lack of parts that I have. So I'm starting to put together a few orders on BrickLink so that hopefully I'll be able to get some parts coming in and be able to continue building the mock as well as there is lug bulk that I ordered with the lug that I'm a part of, which is Empire Lug. So hopefully that will be coming in soon as well. And that will really help out with getting some more progress done on the mock. If you guys are interested in the lights that I'm using in this mock, they are Light My Bricks. And I have a link that will give you $10 off your first purchase at Light My Bricks. So if you guys are interested in that, you can go ahead and click the link at the top right corner of your screen. But that is all that I have for you guys this week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.